Today I'd like to do a quick video showing how you can recover blown out photos in RAW therapy. So the situation here, I was shooting on my Panasonic G9, set the ISO to auto, and uh, an exposure compensation of plus one, because I normally shoot uh, towards the, the, the right edge or the lighter edge of um, the suggested exposure in the camera. And I thought an exposure compensation of plus one. Kind of replicate that with auto ISO because I was shooting in manual. I was shooting pretty much wide open um, with the lens that I had. It was the 100 to 300 uh, f4 to f5.6. Um, and I thought, uh, well, in a, a shutter speed, I was using pretty fast, like a 1 over 2000 or something. So, um, so I thought, well, I'll just let the camera take care of setting ISO. Well, and the results were most of the photos were way overexposed and some were even way blown out. But most of the files, since I was shooting in RAW, are actually coverable. And so, um, I mean, they ended up grainy, but they're still usable. So here is an example, like one of the worst examples. Uh, this is a fox. That this is the straight out of camera JPEG. That, and as you can see, it's still very, very overexposed. Uh, the raw file <laughs> is practically just white. Um, uh, but fortunately, the only stuff that's actually uh, blown out is right here on the Fox's backside. Um, so the rest of the file is still recoverable. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm in the uh, exposure tab. Gonna bring the exposure down about one and a half stops, maybe a little bit more, but right, right there. And I'm gonna bring the black levels up. So already it's looking better. Bring the lightness down. Really helping a lot. Come down here to the LAB. This is the lightness contrast and gravity, and I'm gonna I'm going to jump over to the color tab, like using Vibrant. That up a little bit. Not going to worry about skin tone since it's box. Uh, you can see it's quite grainy, um, but Raw Therapy does a good job of the noise. I'm going to this detail tab, come down to production that and because it's such a high ISO value it, it shot at 12,800. I'm actually going to go aggressive. That will help there. I'm also going to try and get this some I'm going to do impulse reduction. That a whole lot of noise with it. It kind of reduces the sharpness of the photo, but get rid of some of that. We're at 200. Let's just 100. Where at 100, you can still see the effects of the noise reduction, but um, it's the furthest out, and you can still see it. Okay. So now we at least have a photo that looks kind of like the fox. And from here, we can massage it a little more. Um, we want it lightness. A little bit. Increase it. There we go. Here's a different one that I edited already. And it's pretty close to where I want it as well. And I've also cropped it just to put the eyes and the face and the thirds kind of the upper left. But it's a pretty simple, quick fix. And we can recover 
have something that starts like this, <laughs> end up a, you know, at least use photo from the day. <laughs> 